Good, good morning, friends and haters and enemies and what have you. <laughs> when, when I started this channel, I said this was about Waterhouse. Look at Waterhouse community, talk to people in the hope that it will get a discussion going. Well, this week, we're fortunate to have a veteran from Waterhouse with us, you know, Brother Patrick. And we're going to spend the time and talk about Waterhouse. We want to talk about Waterhouse because I tell you, the 28th of February this year will mark 50 years since the People's National Party is representing our community, Waterhouse. I don't see much benefits. I, I am not sure what's happening, but the PMP is a dominant party in Waterhouse. Probably it time, it, it's time for a change or what? We, I'm not sure, but we're going to explore our type of topic this morning. Brother Pat. Yes, Brother Michael. Bridging. Good, good, good to see the bridging again. Yes, man. Can you, just, can you just tell the audience a little bit about your background? Oh, wow. All right, let me start where it all began. All right. My birth, my home at the time when I was born was at a place they call Omara Road. I don't know if you're familiar with Omara Road. Yeah, man, I know Omara Road. Okay. Right. That, that was it for a brief spell. Then by before H3, I moved to Lincoln Avenue. Okay. Right. And from Lincoln Avenue to Delacree Road. Right. Went to Whitfield, Whitfield Primary. Right. And from there to Kingston College. By the time I, I, I got to high school, though, I was living at in Waterhouse. I've been in Waterhouse since um, 63 or four, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. Right. And, um, you know, until adulthood when I, you know, actually leave school and moving on to higher studies and and working and all of that, then moved from Waterhouse, got married and, you know, migrate on and on. But just to speak more on the, my time in, the, you know, growing up in Waterhouse, I really consider myself more of a community activist, right? Because my whole thing was really towards youth development, right? And myself, along with, you know, a number of other people you know very well, Charlie, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Mark, yeah. you know, Gracie, yeah. right? Um, Frankie, plenty of them gags, man, and all that. Right, yeah, yeah. Frankie and all them, man. You know, we started this youth club, but we never, we, we never really refer to ourselves as a youth club because youth clubs are the tendency to just focus on sports. Yeah, and my thing was that development included more than sports, so it wasn't a youth club, it was more of a, um, a youth organization, right? And that kind of was born out of me being a member of a, um, a youth leadership organization that was an international youth organization, youth leadership organization, right? At the time, known as the JCI, the Junior Chamber International. And that's an organization which produced all kinds of leaders all around the world, right? Um, Produce in, in Jamaica, for example, it produced a number of MPs, produced a number of bank managers, um, company CEOs, and all of that, because the whole focus was on youth development as leaders, right? And my whole idea was to bring all that I was learning through that organization back to my community, 
right? And that was my, my whole idea of taking our youth organization beyond being a youth club to, be, to being a youth development organization. And the name we, act, we, we actually um, adopted was WECO, Welfare Educational Cultural Organization. With, with Joe and Charlie and... Yes, 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 yes. WECO, I remember WECO. Yes, and I mean, you know, we really, we really was able to garner a lot of support yeah. among the youths in the area, right? In fact, I remember at one point when... Um, you know, the violence was so rife in the community, right? And youth clubs did stop even meet yeah. because the violence was so terrible. We were the only ones who determined that we'd continue to meet Bro, every I Friday. Avenue. Yes, yes, I right at Hudson Avenue. Yeah. We get a fight even with using the building at Hudson Avenue. Yeah. And we were determined that nothing is going to stop us. Right. So we, we really had a good track record going with all of that. But at the same time, you know, life was taking place in terms of all the, the you know, the economic tool that it takes on life and all that. Right. Which eventually led to me moving from the area. Right. And taking on more, um, you know, family responsibility, get married and, you know, start having children and things. So. A lot of the rain was left over to Charlie. Yeah. Right. After a while. Right. And and I, you know, to step back for take a secondary role, but there was much of a secondary role to take because things never continue to, you know, develop. I think and I think we, we morph into supporting the workers' party. Yes. Us, yes. Yes. To, yes. Yes. I remember. I remember. I remember that discussion at one point. Yeah. Right, with me and Charlie and all of that. And I wouldn't want to say against my better judgment because at the time, even though I wanted to, I didn't 100% share the view that, you know, we wanted to move in a political direction. Mm -hmm. Right? But I was also a part of it. I was also a part of the, the workers, but well, before that, part of the Workers Liberation League. Yeah. Before it became a party. Yeah. So I was part of that whole development as well. Yes. And because of that, <clears throat> you know, I was, I was a little torn. But I went along with that thing. But at the same time, when that was happening, I was more transitioning out of the area. Right? And, yeah. and as I said, taking more of a secondary role. Right? Because I can't be out of the area. I really be. Um, assuming leadership of the organization at the same time. Mm -hmm. So with that, um, Charlie was the, the main man at the end yeah. dealing with that. Yeah. All right. And, um, you know, like you said, it morphed more into becoming more out, like uh, a part of the Workers' Party. Yeah. And because of that, um, it went in a whole different direction. Yeah. Went you know? Okay. Now we have your background put aside. Let's focus on the topic at that waterhouse. Yes. And development. I, I must say this. I I am disappointed in the People's National Party representation of waterhouse. And I say it because we have given a lot. I've given a lot. I remember the night David Core won that seat when he defeated Frank Phipps. And a bunch of us started to run up and down in the community and with a broom and what have you. The end result was some folks burned down Frank Phipps' office. At that time, it was at the old station of a college road corner, right? Mm -hmm. And looking back, I'm wondering if that wasn't a signal for what was coming down the road. Because the violence was introduced into Waterhouse by way of the politics. Yes, we had gang violence. We had 
man from Balcom Drive fighting against, you know, Stone War with Toil Man and all them things there. But after that, the violence take a different turn. You know, you can voice yourself, you know, express yourself a certain way, or else you have a certain man look upon you and deal with you a certain way and what have you. And it's like we haven't, in 50 years of PMP representation, we have nothing to show for, for it. Well, I must say there's a resource center down in Bagapa, but what else? What, what, what can we show? 50 years of PMP representation and condition is worse. Condition, I tell you, condition worse. If you see the streets in Watos right now, you'd be surprised. Better yet, I'm going further. They tell a story. They yeah. tell a story. That's 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 the that's the, the, the fundamental lesson right there, right? That the, the, the what you see, what you look at, yeah, right, is the real story. Is the real result. Of course, right. Of what has been happening over the fifty years, this is what it has produced. That's what that that's that's what that story says. It, it does, but I want to go further than that. In 72, in the 70s, uh, the PMP used to give out bush work, you mm -hmm. know, holiday work and what have you. You know, to people, you, you, you go over New Haven, cut the grass and clean the road and all of that. They used to give out that. 50 years later, the PMP is still doing that. And guess what? For this Christmas, each person was paid $3,000. That is, that, that is almost 20 US dollars. You understand? So my question is, where is the progress? Where's the progress? It's, where is the progress? Let me let me let me say this, Michael. I think you know what you have said is a mouthful, right? But what it really comes down to is us dissecting all of it, right? And let's 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 begin and 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 look at you know what has been the missing ingredient. In everything. Okay. And the missing ingredient in everything has been the intelligent approach to the development. Because that's where everything com comes down to. Yeah. The intelligence that is applied. That's the real power. Yeah. Right? That is the part of us which has been historically right every move has been made to take from us right as a people right okay try to redefine us and call us slaves yeah right when we were not slaves we were only enslaved okay right fast forward to what they call emancipation Right? And under emancipation, again, with a missing intelligence, what happens is that you're still using the same techniques and the same practices of the whole slave, slave master, right? To same chart a new course. Same old practices. Of and it doesn't work. You just come in and give a little, put a little food right at this corner. It doesn't work. And, work. and keep the people them divided. It doesn't work. It's not, it's not about the money because even if they're giving them three thousand US dollar, it it still wouldn't mean three thousand US dollars, three thousand Jamaican dollars. Yes, but I'm saying even if they're giving them three thousand US dollars, it still wouldn't mean the same. It still wouldn't mean the same because it's not even about the money. It's about the fact that the intelligence is what's missing. We have never been a people who. <clears throat> have really taken control, right? Take, you know, develop an understanding of our real identity and taking con control 
of our whole development because that's really what it comes down to. But so not everyone, you know, because the politician in Waterhouse, the MP, those guys are here to get away with stuff because they come in, the scarce benefits, they use scarce benefit to advance their agenda. Some of us not going down that road, you know, I, I myself and you and others, Absolutely. I don't go that road. We went with the Workers' Party and all that stuff to mm -hmm. sort of develop an independent way of doing stuff. But, but the even, point, even then we made errors still. Even, yeah, we, even with the Workers' Party and all that, we still made a lot of errors. We made a lot of errors. But the point I'm making yeah. is that we were a critical voice mm -hmm. in Waterhouse. We were very critical. We point out stuff and what have you. But now that the, we are no longer there, that critical voice, it's like the PMP, MP, just a free day. They, they come in and you know what is sad about this thing? Is that all these guys are not from the community. In the political arrangement, the only person you can point to just now is Byron. Yeah, yeah. And Byron, and Byron is... He is just a lucky for the MP. There's mm -hmm. no development taking place in Waters. It's a, it's a same it's the same old system. It's the same old system. The, 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 one of the things one of the things which which which, which you know one will come to understand once you really take control of your own education, right? To really understand what this life is and understand what you know living is all about as a, as a person living in a community living in a country living in in a world because you have to look at the whole thing yeah right you have to look at the whole picture once you do that you come to realize that the whole system of oppression is one which is very resilient and yeah. by that what i mean is Right, even when it hands something to you, right, it already have a plan or it's gonna take it back from you. Yep. Right. So it can't be a matter where you depend on handout, right? Because it is it's not like you're getting handout from someone who is giving you willingly. Right? So how can you how can you become dependent on that? You 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 you're coming up on something and, and um and de depending on someone who really doesn't want to give you anything, mm -hmm. right? Yet you want to be dependent on them to, uh, to get it. No, it's like, it's like if I know that, okay, I need, I need to make a living, right? And the only job that I'm being offered, right? Is gonna pay me a penny, right? Mm -hmm. Why am I gonna sit and, in doing that job, right, for a penny, right, and rely on that job, um, you know, to be paid a penny, when I know that that's not really my desire. There has to be a better way, right? So my, my whole job must be first and foremost to find that better way or create that better way, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why I said, it, you have to go, go to where it, it actually begins. It begins with yourself. So you have to find a way of looking at whose responsibility is it to really develop, right? Who is going to really... Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Who is going to be the one to really pay these politicians, right? Who is going to be the one to really elect them and direct them? It's going to be me, right? And if I, have a, if, if I come to know that, then I know that I have a responsibility then, right? To educate myself in such a way that is going to allow me to really take control of myself and my own development. But one of the problems we face, Patrick, is that we have a large in Waterhouse, we have a large school dropout population. 
a lot of because the, the violence and all of that stuff we have a very large population of mm -hmm. school dropout mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. even that you know there's no program well they say they're starting training you now run by the center workforce development training and what have you but mm -hmm. nobody can tell me it's it's a sad situation yeah so but again Again, I would have used myself as an example, right? The, the large dropout in education is not the only pitfall to education because the educational system wrong to begin with. Yeah. The educational system is also a, 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 um, a hold over from the whole, from the whole colonial system as well. Yeah. Right? It is not. It is not an educational system of integrity. No, no. Right, and that's why they can play politics with it, because that's that's what it is about. It is about preserving a certain political infrastructure. Yeah. Right. It is about preserving a particular bias. Right. It is not about serving. It's greatest resource which is the people right it is not about um planning for development it is not about you know ensuring right um the necessary protective um programs for life is put in place mm -hmm. right it is not about community building it has nothing to do with none of that Right, and that is why fifty years later, right, the result tells that story. Yeah, yeah, right. Fifty years later, we still have what it what it what it tells what it tells those of us who who who, who grew up there, right, and was there for a while, and leave, and in some cases turn our back or find it difficult to return, is that. We have to go elsewhere. We always have to be going elsewhere to find something. Yeah. I know it's not about where you go. It's about who you come to understand yourself as. Yeah, yeah. The Rastaman was onto something the, the first time when the Rastaman said, know thyself. Yeah, know thyself, yeah. Right? He was onto something. Because notice what that notice what that was birthed out of. It was birthed out of Marcus Garvey. Yeah. Right. Garvey knew what he was talking about. He was onto something. Right? Because what did Garvey talk about? Taking your own responsibility. Right? For your own development. That was where he always preached. Right? And that was an understanding that before all of this took place, before all this slavery took place and all of that. Right? We were in a land where it was known, it's a historical fact, that it was the cradle of civilization. What was happening in Europe at the time when, 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 when all that was taking place? Europe was in the wars and all of that. Europe was totally underdeveloped. Yeah. Right? Yet, who is the one leading the world today? Europeans. Right? That's why I say you can't, education is, is not just about what you wake up and see. Whether education takes you beyond the self that you know, right? To discover the self that you don't know. That's what education really is. But in a situation where you have political representative, isn't there a responsibility towards the people that you represent, responsibility to encourage them in terms of their own self-development and all that. Isn't the, that responsibility also? But to the typical, to the typical politician, what, would, what do you think would consider, him, um, what do you think he would consider his responsibility? His responsibility is to the ones who is gonna really ensure that he stays in power as a politician. 
right? And it means him doing enough for him to maintain his office. So if he needs to hand out a little more to you, right? To get himself elected, good, right? If he needs to hold back, right? To benefit himself, because it's always about benefiting himself ultimately, because that's what that is saying, right? A responsibility to the people means the people have to be involved in that responsibility. Right? And that's why the dance around the whole issue as to what democracy is. The whole concept of democracy in the initial um, framework is democracy means the involvement of our people. Yeah. That's, that's the original concept, right? Because it was birthed out of a combination of what they call the Greek and the Latin coming together, Yeah. right? That would process of development. Wait, what, what do you think preceded all of that? Again, it was the create less civilization, right? That's where they learn, right? It is always, it is always about first understanding, understanding yourself. You have to go to your identity first, right? Remember that, remember that. <clears throat> the, 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 I guess the best way we can put it is that we as people are each, each of us living as a person. Right? The number one thing that you can really discover about yourself is the truth of your identity. Yeah. Because that is what's gonna determine everything beyond that. Right? The, the question is not about that. No, it's not about that. Right? Religion is the thing that comes closest to that. Right? Yeah. Well, other than philosophy, right? Because religion itself was birthed out of philosophy. Right? And when you look at philosophy, right? Philosophy being the study of life, right? What it actually says is that we, 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 we speak about our physical presence. We refer to ourselves as human beings, which in fact, we are way more than that, right? We are beings, yes. But in that regard, we are just being human. When we say we are human beings, we are just being human, but we are more than that. We are also being spiritual, right? Because that determines, that determines the attitude which we have, yeah. right? Towards everything, towards life itself. But what about accountability? Because I keep on going back, you know, because I understand what you're saying and all that stuff, but I still, believe that the elected representative has a responsibility to the people they represent and they should be held accountable mm -hmm. in waters you have nothing well i i, I, I just want to focus on waters mm -hmm. in in waters there's nothing nothing like that nothing exactly. like that and it's, it's not new it's from david core right up to ilton today exactly exactly years of that no accountability politician come into our house and they just do as they like they come in they spread a little money on one corner but bringing some bun and cheese when it's easter time they bring bun and cheese and distribute christmas time they get a little work and because after that, again you don't see them again until Election time. Yeah, because again, the only the only thing the only thing that it breeds, the only thing that the whole system breeds, is hatred of each other. Yes. And you can't build you can't build a community, right? And hate. A community can't build on hate. Right. A community can't build on fighting, infighting, constant infighting. Right. That is what I'm talking about. When 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 our or when they refer to the whole idea of crabs in a barrel mentality and all of that. That's the only thing that that breeds, right? There is no coming together. 
is the missing intelligence, right? Is the missing spirit of building, yeah, right? It is the know thyself that is missing. But in the seventies, we had that spirit. We, 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 from time to time, from time to time in life, we we'll catch a glimpse of it. Yeah. Right? As situations arise. But without deep and focused and consistent study, right? And building, it won't become, it won't become a reality. Who will lead that That's process? what we need to work on. Who will lead that process? Because certainly the, the politician, Hilton and all of them, not, they're not going to move in that direction because they, they want to keep control of the people. With education, with, with education, education throws up, will throw up leaders. Education will produce the kind of leadership that we need. Yeah. That's what it means. Education will produce the kind of leadership that it needs. The lack of education is, is, really, is really, really where the problem is, right? And because we cannot rely on, because we cannot rely on, um, you know, the politicians, right? To give us that, um, that education, right? Because it's clear, we can't rely on the government for, um, for education. Not the kind of education they teach us in schools, right? All that is fine because that basically is training us to be functionaries, yeah. training you to get a job, training you for, for, uh, to fit into that state state and right? All kinds of things, yeah. Work in a factory and what right. Yeah. yeah. Right? But that's not what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm talking about what leads to unknown potential. Right? That's development. Right? You think that is possible? Because it is individuals who make up a community. Right, but given the condition... That make up nations. But given the condition in which the people right? of Warthos now exist in Warthos, because Warthos is so fragmented right now. The situation in Warthos, that there's Moscow, there's Cuba, there's Wheelers, there's Bins Road, there's lyrics, there's Bocas, there's Balcom Drive, and all of that fragmented. What, what really disturbed me is that here you have an area that was one. In 1976, the PMP divided the area in two, West Central and, Saint, and West St. Andrew. You have two MP, you have the prime minister, which is Olness, representing West Central. You have Hilton representing Waterhouse. And there's no joint of approach, no joint effort to deal with the problem. It's all just individually. The GLP has their approach, the PMP has their approach, but nobody's coming together and say, okay, this is one community. But, but again, Michael, that's all, all that you're saying, you know, is just, is just, a continuation of describing what the whole system is, right? In a new way, which is the same thing. Yeah. Right? This, it, it, you know, they have, they have always had a policy of divide and conquer, right? As they call it, right? And that's how that's going on, you know, refashion, refashion to present it another way, right? But it's the same thing, you know? It's the same divide and conquer. Right? It's it's about preserving themselves. Yeah. Right? It's never about the people. So what right? do we do? What do we the do? The only way it can be about the people is to involve the people. And they right? don't, they, they're not gonna do that. They no, have never not. done that. They are not. So so and that and that is precisely why I'm saying, right? We cannot rely on them to be to be the 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 the, the, uh, the ones to spirit it, spirit the change. Okay. Right. We have got to come to know ourselves first and foremost, right? Then to get to know ourselves as a collective, right? Which is a community, right? Then from there, you now we're going to leverage our power, right? To change the situation. Yeah, that's it.
Thanks. And then we 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 um we 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 leverage that power, right, to change the situation by determining what leaders we put up. Because it means our participation at every level. Okay. Right? It has to be about the people. We have got to come up with our own educational program, our own way of educating ourselves. And we are capable of doing that. Right? We are capable of doing that. Yeah. Fully capable. What's preventing us? Yeah. The only the only thing preventing us is, is is from us, you know, applying ourselves, getting started. Okay. This right here can be considered a start. Mm -hmm. Right. There's nothing preventing us. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing stands in the way of making that first step. Right. The only thing we need to ensure is that we keep stepping forward. And you think that will bring changes in water else? Absolutely. 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 Right? Some of the whole stuff that we started out doing, the weaker, the weaker development, for example, like I, like I mentioned, all of that can come back. We can borrow things from, from, from things we have tried before, which has showed signs of improvement, and bring it back and implement it in a way that, that bring about this change. We, we can come up with our own educational way of doing it. But the way, of, the way to do it is involvement of everyone. Because this is not a personal venture. Right. Right? This is way more than a personal venture. Right? And why, why it is way more than a personal venture is that if it benefits me, it's going to benefit everyone. And if it benefits everyone, it's going to benefit me even more. That's what it means. So because it's, be it's, it's better for me to live in a community that is developed than to live in a community that is that is totally right in this area, uh, totally underdeveloped. So what you what you're calling for is a new faculty of thinking, then a uh, new absolutely. That's the intelligence. It goes to the intelligence every time. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you and I see where you're going, but the reality, I, I still remind of the reality that in the seventies, when we tried to hold the MP accountable and all of that stuff, it was not easy road. It was not easy road. And the way the politics set up now, I'm, I'm sure that people who, who wanna listen to this, one of the reaction is that we are fighting against the PMP we're fighting against what have you because we are from the area. We're not, we're not fighting against anyone. That's the, that's the whole thing about it. We're not fighting against anyone. We're we are fighting. In fact, we're not even fighting. All we're saying is that everybody has to be involved. We are not determining anything. That's the key to it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So nobody can say we are fighting against anyone. Right? Because we're not, we're not in a fight. All we're talking about is progress, development. Right? And if we're talking about development, then what we're talking about is it has to involve everyone. Yeah. It has never happened. Never. Even in our best days, that never happened. No. We still think we we're fighting even when, even when we're doing what we're doing in those days. Right? Now we're talking about involving everyone. Everyone has to have that willingness to come to the table, right? And let's really educate ourselves on how to live together. That's what civilization is about. Civilization is not coming together. It's not living together, right? Despite common views, despite different areas in our levels of consciousness, all of us living together. Okay, so people coming together, educating yourself what else you, you think necessary from there then you, you progressively plan in terms of where we go to develop to, to enhance life for ourselves 
Because as we enhance life for each other, right? We enhance life for everybody, right? Notice in the whole, in the whole system is, the whole system, the one we have been accustomed to is, there's employment and there's unemployment. Yeah, yeah. There is, there's educated and there's uneducated. Yeah. Right? There is what you call um, hand to mouth job, right? And job that pays. Yeah. Right? There is good business and bad business. Yeah. Right? We're not talking about that. All of that is about the, all of the, that selfishness that that situation brings. Yeah. Right? We are talking about changing all of that. We are talking about the opposite, in fact, of what used to happen. How do we get uh, every, involved, everybody involved? How do we do that? And that's why I said it begins with education. It begins with the know thyself. We know that everybody's entitled to live a, a good life, right? To live a life of progress, to live a life of development, right? So it begins with education. Right? So it's in order for in order for that education to take place, right? It requires when I say self-education, it requires that self-willingness. Right? You have, to, you have to willing to step out, seek out. Exactly. Exactly. Right? You have to know that you have to come to the realization that listen, I can't keep living like this. Every every day I get up and I and I shoot out with 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 you know. Some, some man down the road or some man around the corner, right? And every day I, I look around more and more, somebody else leave the community and more people dead, yeah. right? And this can't be life. There has to be more to life than this, right? That's as simple as that. As simple as that, just for, for, for take a pause and really think about it, right? Not to mention, if, 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 if you have children, uh, there's all any of them, you, they will probably do have, I've never had a child, right? I stop to think, do I even love that child, right? If I love that child, what do I want for that child, right? Or for, for, the, for the older folk, do I love my grandchildren, right? Do I want to? Do I want to? You know, leave this world worse than I found it. Mm. Right? It's simple ways. Simple ways to bring them to the table. Right? Well, one problem in Waterhouse House just now is the level of fear. Level of fear because, as I said, the community is fragmented. Gangs dominate different sections and what have you, and people are fearful of them. Well, well, let me say this: a willingness, a willingness to to develop, right, means that you have to be unwilling about taking the steps. You see, up right, our, that prevent that. You see, up by our section. What's happening up, the, up that side now, you know? It's just people, you know, taking over abandoned houses, you know, and renting them out, you know. You know, well, it could circle there. But that, but that is not even going to be sustaining. That is not even going to be sustaining. That won't be sustaining. That's more tribalism. Yeah. That's what's going on. That's still more tribalism. That's not going to be sustaining. Remember, and, as I tell you, right? The whole thing about it is until they pause and stop acting without thinking, right? Things are going to be the same way. The moment you start thinking, immediately things are going to change. Because when, once you start think, you're going to stop fighting, right? I want to stop fighting, right? And, and, I, and, and, and you're thinking more, right? You're gonna start looking for ways to work together, right? And as you find ways of working together, 
you're going to start noticing changes because it's going to produce different results. Right? To mm -hmm. keep doing the same thing over and over, right? As they say, is a, is a clear definition of insanity. Yeah. Right? Expecting a different result. It's a clear definition of insanity. But you, you're putting the burden on the people. It's to, not a burden. No, the burden to change, to learn, acquire new new thinking and what have you. No, but that, that's the whole thing about it. It's not the burden. It's not but a burden. Leave, but you leave the politician out of it. The man who the system say represents us in parliament. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not leaving anyone out, as I said to you before. Okay. Right? I'm not leaving anyone out. Right? Because all of that is saying is when everybody is at the table, right? Even the politician will understand the changes that he needs to make because yeah. his, his days will be numbered as well. Okay. Right? And his days will be numbered in terms of him acting in the old way. He would have to become a new kind of politician, right? To earn, him, to earn his place as a leader. Okay. Right? Because remember, it's not no one man calling no show anymore. Well, my brother, I hear you, but I'm still faced with reality in Waterhouse. You know? Yeah, but the, the reality which you mentioned, right, the reality which you really speak of is, as I said again, right, is the result of what has not happened or what has happened over several years uh, or over a period of time. Yeah, right? that's true that is true but the reality which i speak about is the reality that we make okay right because by us behaving differently by us taking a different approach uh -huh. right, it's gonna produce a different result it's okay. gonna be a new reality we are the ones who we are the ones who change it we are the ones who make that reality we are always the one you know, doing it. Yeah. But the system, bro, the system that the, the politicians have the people under, it's but like, it takes it takes work to change a system. It takes it, work to change a it system. Takes work, you know. And that's and that's and that's one of the lessons to be learned from from all that you're seeing now. Because all of these things that we look at, right? Yeah is lessons from our experience of course yeah so where we go from here we, we I, go. like i said like i said this is a start right we're gonna build on this yeah yeah we should we should right and i want to use this occasion to invite other people to join the discussion because I hope that, well, this is a start. This is a start. And I Absolutely. hope that others will join in so we can get something going inside here. Because, brother man, I, I am big on the accountability factor. You know? I'm very big on that. Because I, I see the potential in, in waters. I, I see the suffocation. And I see the manipulation, you know. And I said this to you because in 2005, I was one of those who introduced Hilton to the community. Mm -hmm. You know, and at that point, he made a lot of promise. One thing I'll never forget is that he said to me that he's going to set up a foundation to support community development projects. And that is, he said that. And now what? 22? Nothing has happened. Well, let me say nothing. this. Huh? Well, let me say this, Michael. All right. Let me say this. The key to it all is that even if I was to say to you, we can do this, that, that, the other. Right? And I'm going to do all, I'm going to ensure all of this take place. Right? Yeah. 
And I walk out, walk away from this meeting on the basis that that happening is on my shoulder. I went with just the way I want, I want to do it. Yeah, yeah. Right? And that won't mean much. Yeah. With my best intentions, that won't mean much. Right? For the entire community. Because the only thing that can really mean real value for the community is the entire community's involvement. There's more to, there's more to it than, than just people physically coming together. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a coming together of intelligence as well. It's an arousing of intelligence within each and every one of us. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It is that, it is that, it is that intelligent connective that really is the power yeah. behind it, right? That's the real power behind it, Yeah. right? This is, this is what a lot of people don't seem to understand, that power is really about intelligence. That's yeah. really what power is. Yeah. Power which moves anything. That's why we know we live in an intelligent world. That's why we know we are born from something that is more powerful than we are. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, we refer to it as God and we use all kinds of jargon to, 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 uh, to, 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 to name it. But the key is really the understanding. That's the educational aspect of it. Yeah. Right? And I'm telling you, once you start to engage in that knowing yourself, it only be gets better. Yeah. It gets better not just for you, but imagine what happens when you use that collectively. Yeah, yeah. Right? Then it you become a problem. For everyone. Then you become a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, no you, you, become you don't become a problem. A problem. Because... You don't become a problem because you, you're including everyone. Yeah, but you see, the politicians don't want you to become educated. No, because if you're educated, but, but, then you that's what I'm saying free to you. That's him. what I'm saying to you. It's not that he's being excluded. He's only being forced to make a decision, okay. right? Okay. Do I want to go against the people? Or do I want to be a part of this change? Do I want to be an agent in all this change as well? Do I want to transform my office, transform my, 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 my whole um, way of being a politician, right? And be a part of this change. How will it benefit me? Because that's the question he's going to have to ask himself. Right? Mm -hmm. And it is, it is going to benefit him tremendously if he's willing to transform. Right? Because yeah. if, he, if he transform, it means that he's willing to become a better politician. But what, what is the incentive right? for him to transform? What's the incentive? As I, again, like I said, it's simple. Right? Does it benefit me to go against the people? Because to not transform, when the people are transforming, right? Is it that, okay, I'm gonna go against the people? Then I won't be a politician then. I'll be removed from the process. You're not no. warring with anybody. Are you aware of what's happening with the People's National Party just now? I know there's some infighting going on. I, I, I don't fully understand it because I don't get caught up in a, a the hoopla. Okay. Because right? The, yeah. It's... But like I said, that, that don't even matter because that's all part of the whole system. We don't need to be studying nothing in the whole system anymore. Right? That's the big mistake. As I said, what we, have, what we keep doing is, 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 is taking the, the true over from the world colonialist mentality, right? And keep trying to refashion it and introduce it, right? And it don't serve us. No, no, no. Uh, never serve us. <laughs> never serve us and it never, never will. Never, never serve us. Right? Even if it seemed that way for a the, the moment, it doesn't. Right? Never service, never. 
But what surprised me in all of this is that an MP comes into an area with so much talent, what and different. And today, he has not done anything to enhance that talent, use that competitive advantage that Warthouse has. Because Warthouse, you know, is like a cultural maker. And it's Chris and I have to be pushing, you know, and setting up a recording studio in Warthouse that will serve the community, you know. And even that is a struggle. The struggle to get him to move from point A to point B. Yes, him come around and he will take credit and all of that stuff. And you know, he promised that he'll do A, B, and C. But I tell you this: if you walk through Waters right now and you ask them anybody about the MP, the first thing, oh, he's a joker. That's the first thing they've said. That man don't do nothing for nobody. In fact, there words are now on the street that there's a movement afoot to replace him with another individual. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. he was doing a survey, a survey is being talked about among certain people, you know, as to whether or not this man should remain as the MP. It's, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, brother, the situation in what those is desperate. But but you're you're the thing now you're the thing now um you're the thing now Micah. You know what come to mind when you mention well, Waters, for example, and 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 you know the discussion, you know, with you and Chris, right? And 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 the, the whole cultural rich richness at Waters. That is just that is just a token. And what waters has come out of water house, you know? Yeah. All kinds of people have come out of water. Yes, we know that. Right? So, so so it's not just it's not just an era that has produced only entertainers. No, but we know that. Right? So and, and, and that's and again, again, that's why I'm saying that the only approach is the intelligent approach, because this is this is this is where it's gonna bring out, right? All the real features. Right, all the talents, all the all the skills, all the creativity of our community. Yeah. Because right now we don't know what 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 we have. Yeah. We don't. We don't. We only know based on what we think we have seen, or what we think we have heard. Yeah. Right. Out of all of the upla that take place. Yeah. Right. We don't know about the engineers. We don't know about this the, the, the scientists. We don't know about the about the, about the craftsmen. We yeah. don't know all oh, the other products. Yep, yep. A water house. Yep. Right? And that's what I'm saying. The community is way more than what we are seeing. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Right? You have people offering people scholarships in water house right now. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right? And just doing it on their own. Yes. I know of one individual. Right? He and his wife so, so, doing. Yeah. So this is this is this is how this whole thing works. Right? Yeah. Imagine, just, just imagine the possibilities when we really right, get working on this the right way, using our intelligence and using it collectively. Yeah. Right? And we're not excluding anyone. Right? Mm -hmm. That is where they talk about when they talk about faith, move mountains. We have to believe in ourselves. Yeah. Right? We have to believe in that higher, higher self. Yeah. Right? Because that's what makes it happen. Yep, yep. Well, my brother, man, we have to continue this discussion. Absolutely. We have to continue it. You know, and hope Absolutely. That we can get other people joining because we have to start a process. We have to start that process. We can't, we can't sit back and just allow the community to just go like this. I know a lot I of people. A lot I of people. Only, 
a lot yeah. of people said, listen, they've done it what house and what have you. I can't do that. You know, I can't do that. We have to start a process in what house, as you say, that bring the people together. You know, and this is not about PMP, not GLP. This is about the people. That's it. You know, the people we are talking about. Now that's, are. that's the only label we can put on it. We can't put no other label on it. Yes. And I know some of our friends going to say, "Why well, are you fighting against the MP? You're fighting against that and what have you. But we were, we were there before the MP. We know the place. Well, no well the, an the, answer, the answer to that, when they say that, I would say is, come fight with us. Yeah. Since, since that's the way you feel, come fight with us then. I know that you're fighting with the people. Yeah. Because if you're fighting with the people, there's nobody for you to fight against. True. So the only thing you're going to come to realize is that there's no fight going on. Fighting yourself. Exactly. Fighting yourself, you know. But it's a long road ahead of us, my brother. And we, we have taken the first step. You know, and I want, I, want, I want to thank you for this. At some point, we're going to go live <laughs> so that other people can take part in it in this conversation but this is the start Absolutely. of something this is the start of something you know we're going to post yes. this and watch the reaction and start a process where the people feel that they're part of something you know something to benefit the community and benefit them you know and brother patrick thank you my brother and we, we yes, continue this God. again my pleasure all My right. pleasure. Always, always, um, always so available. We, we'll continue this next week. Yes. All right? Yes. And so yes. people can look forward to the discussion and take part if they're interested. Yes, absolutely. All right, my brother. Be good. Right. We take talk. Care. Let's let's start after the recording. Yes. Mm.